meeting. Today is May 30, 2023. Uh, for our attendance today, can you acknowledge once your name is called um, for our chairperson, Captain Edgardo G. Diaz. Good morning, sir. Present. Vice Chairperson, Attorney Roberto Martinez Benaventura. Present. Members, Captain Florendo Jose C. Aquino III. Present. Morning, sir. Uh, Engineer Ronaldo R. Lumibao. Present. Morning, sir. Good morning. Amnesia, Present. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Engineer uh, Leandro R. Varquez. Present. And we also have here uh, the end user representative, um, e architect Emerson Salas for ADMS. Good morning, President. Uh, for ATS, uh, Sir Joma Eligio. Thank you, sir. Uh, also in attendance today, Mr. Chair, are the members of the Technical Working Group, back Secretariat, and we send letters uh, to our observers uh, from the Commission on Audit Resident Auditor who is present here online, uh, Mr. Dunopol, sir, good morning. Sir, good morning. Um, also, we invited PCCI representatives from NGO EBJFI, PICE, Internal Audit Service, PCAI, and PADPAO, Mr. Chair. So considering that all members of the committee, sir, are present today, we do have a quorum, sir. Okay, thank you. So let us proceed. Um, the first item in our agenda is uh, the submission and opening of bids for the project supply and installation of three units 150 TR Chiller at Lagindingan Airport um, with bid number 23-011-05 amounting to 37,795,692 pesos and 66 Centavos, an ADMS project, and um, we received a single bid from True Temp Corporation, Mr. Chair. Sir, may we invite the bidders Go ahead, to join us? Secretariat, please. Good morning to all our bidders. Welcome to the Bids and Awards Committee meeting. Uh, today is the opening day for the project supply and installation of three units, 150 TR Chiller at Lagindingan Airport. Um, may we request bidders to introduce your name and the company you represent, please. Um, good morning, sir. I'm Jomar Etchon from Trotem Corporation as bid manager. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Uh, sir, would like to inform you that uh, this proceeding today is being streamed online. Thank you, sir. Permission to proceed with the opening, sir. So, yeah, please proceed. For the bidder, uh, sir, kindly acknowledge if this is your submitted bid. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Inside the main envelope are two envelopes, uh, the original bead and copy one.
inside the submitted original bid are the um, regional technical component envelope and the regional financial component. submitted uh, technical component has fabings paginated and it also has the signature or initials of the authorized representative in each page checklist please checklist for technical component Valid field jobs registration certificate, platinum membership, all pages. Certificate of field jobs registration, platinum membership issued to True Temp Corporation, valid until April 25, 2024, consisting of three pages, three out of three, submitted. Registration certificate from the Securities and Exchange Commission, Department of Trade and Industry, for sole proprietorship or cooperative development authority for cooperatives or its equivalent document. SEC certificate of registration uh, with the registration date March 4, 2002 with the registration number A20020306 submitted. Mayors or business permit issued by the city or municipality where the principal place of business of the prospective bidder is located or the equivalent document for exclusive economic zones or areas. Mayor's permit issued by the local government of city, uh, city government of Binyan, Laguna, valid until December 31, 2023, submitted. Tax clearance per EO number 398, series of 2005, as finally reviewed and approved by the Bureau of Internal Revenue. Tax clearance, date of issuance, February 7, 2023, valid until February 7, 2024, submitted. Statement of the prospective bidder of all its ongoing government and private contracts, including contracts awarded but not yet started, if any, whether similar or not similar in nature and complexity to the contract to be bid, Annex A, Form 1. Annex A, Form 1, statement of ongoing government and private contracts, with signature of the authorized representative, submitted. Statement of the bidder's single largest completed contract, similar to the contract to be bid, except under conditions provided for in section 23.4.1.3 and 23.4.2.4 of the 2016 revised IRR of RA number 9184 within the relevant period as provided in the bidding documents, Annex A, Form 2. Annex A, Form 2, statement of single largest completed contract with signature of the authorized representative submitted. Original copy of bid security, if in the form of surety band, submit also a certification issued by the Insurance Commission, Annex B Form 1, or original copy of notarized bid securing declaration. Bid security in the form of bid securing declaration, original, also signed by uh, the manager or authorized representative, and Notarized, submitted. Confirmity with the technical specifications, which may include production or delivery schedule, manpower requirements, and or after sales or parts, if applicable, Annex B Form 2. Annex B Form 2, technical specification conformity, with signature of the authorized representative, submitted. Original duly signed omnibus warrant statement, Annex B Form 3, and if applicable, Original notarized secretary certificate in case of corporation partnership of or cooperative or original special power of attorney of all members of the joint venture giving full power and authority to its officer to sign the OSS and do acts to represent the bidder. Omnibus sworn statement original signed by the authorized representative with notary and also attached is a secretary certificate authorizing Mr. Jomar A. Echon or Maria Cheryl Ortega 
to sign uh, the OSS and the other documents of the um, bid documents submitted. The contractor shall include in the technical documents the brochures of the proposed chiller and chilled water pump with description and specifications to be installed in the project. All chiller and other components to be installed without prior approval of CAP shall be at the risk of rejection. Brochure of the product as well as the plans and technical data. Product data sheet as well. Submitted. Certificate of Site Inspection, Annex B Form 1, duly signed by Engineer Jube B. De Jesus, Airport Manager of Lagindingan Airport, or his duly authorized representative. Certificate of Site Inspection issued to uh, Trutem, signed by Engineer Job De Jesus, last, issued last May 23, 2000, 2023, submitted. Attachments to the Certificate of Site Inspection, copy of the company ID of the person who conducted the site inspection. Company ID of the persons who conducted the uh, site inspection. Mr. Christopher Dumalog. Dumalaog. Dumalaog. Submitted. Copy of the airport or facility visitor's logbook. Visitor's logbook of Lagindingan Airport with the entry name Christer, Christopher Dumalaog. Uh, date of entry, um, May 23, 2023. Submitted. Picture of the proposed site, including the personnel who conducted the site inspection, together with the airport manager or officer in charge or his duly authorized representative. Picture of the proposed site, together with the person who conducted the site inspection and representative of the airport. Submitted. The supplier's audited financial statements showing, among others, the supplier's total and current assets and liabilities stamp received by the BIR or its duly accredited and authorized institutions for the preceding calendar year, which should not be earlier than two years from the date of bid submission. Audited financial statement of TRUTEM, stamp received by BIR April 3, 2023. Submitted. The prospective bidder's computation of net financial contracting capacity or a committed line of credit from a universal or commercial bank in lieu of its NFCC computation. NFCC of uh, TRUTEM in the amount of 1,587,843,996 and 1,585 pesos signed by the authorized representative submitted. If applicable, Duly signed joint venture agreement in accordance with RA number 4566 and its IRR in case the joint venture is already in existence or duly authorized statements from all the potential joint venture partners stating that they will enter into and abide by the provisions of the JBA in the instance that the bid is successful. Not applicable. That's all for the technical component checklist, sir. Mr. Chair, the, uh, and to the members of the committee, the technical uh, component submission of the root temp is initially rated as passed. Hey, thank you. We now proceed, Mr. Chair, with the opening of the financial component. The financial component submission has tabbings. Pagination and signature or initials on each page. Checklist, please. Financial component checklist. Original of duly signed and accomplished bill of quantities, bill of materials for good offered from abroad and for good offered from within the Philippines. Annex C, Form 1, 2, 3, and 4. Bill of quantities signed by the authorized representative. Annex C Form 2, Bill of Materials, and Annex C Form 2, 
also with signature submitted. Other documentary requirements under RA number 9184 as applicable for foreign bidders claiming by reason of their country's extension of reciprocal rights to Filipinos, certification from the relevant government office for the country stating that Filipinos are allowed to participate in government procurement activities for the same item or product. Not applicable. Certification from the TTI if the bidder claims preference as a domestic bidder or domestic entity. Not applicable. Original of duly signed and accomplished financial bid form. Financial bid form of Trutem signed by the authorized uh, signatories, uh, John Mar Echon and Ms. Maria Cheryl Ortega. And with a financial bid amounting to 36 million 500,000 pesos with no discount. And this is below the ABC of the project. Again, it's 36 million 500 pesos below the ABC of the project. So, Mr. Chair, and to the members of the committee, uh, here is the summary of uh, the submitted proposal. We have from through them in the amount of 36,500,000 pesos, the loan bidder for this project, and the submitted amount, bid amount is below the ABC of the project. With this, Mr. Chair, the technical working group is now recommending for the conduct of bid evaluation uh, to determine the completeness of bids and to ascertain if there are any arithmetical or mathematical errors in the financial submission for consideration and approval of the committee, sir. Thank you. Any motion? Motion, Mr. Chair. Go ahead. I move to adopt the recommendation of the TWG that uh, True Temp will undergo bid evaluation. Seconded. Second the motion. Okay, move and seconded. Motion is adopted. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, to our bidders, through them, thank you for submitting your uh, bids for today. We will just notify you of the outcome of the bid evaluation. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Permission to leave, sir? Yes, boss. Moving on, Mr. Chair, item 2.2. This is the rehabilitation and expansion of FSIS building. Uh, also bid submission and opening of bids with a bid number 23-012-05 amounting to 13,118,201 pesos and 68 centavos, an ADMS project. And uh, for this project, Mr. Chair, we received three bids. First is from Dura Build. Uh, Dura Build Construction. Second is from Bangkal Construction su Supply. And lastly, from Rit Rit Construction and Development Corporation. Permission to admit the bidders, sir. Secretariat, please. Have a seat for Dita, sir. Ma'am.
Good morning to all our bidders. Welcome to the Bids and Awards Committee meeting. And uh, today we are going to open the uh, submitted bids for the project rehabilitation uh, and expansion of FSIS building. So uh, may we request bidders to kindly introduce your name and the company you represent, please. We start with you, sir. Kindly use the microphone, please. Kindly press, uh, press nyo lang po yung green button po. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Uh, Vincel Gumangan from Ritbit Construction and Development Corporation. Good morning, sir. Um, good morning po sa lahat. Si Ken Kenyana po from Ritbit Construction and Development Corporation po. Thank you, sir. Kayo, sir. Ay, sige po. Para lang po. Good morning po, John Roque po from Ritbit. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Shaila Joy Tambot from Bangkal Construction. Again, uh, welcome, bidders, and good morning. And uh, please be informed that our proceedings today are being streamed online. So, Mr. Chair, we will now proceed with the opening of the first submission, which is from Duva Build. Uh, by the way, do we have representatives, uh, bidder representatives online? Meron po bang mga online uh, online bidders po? Uh, for our online uh, bidders, kindly um, type your name and your company you represent in our chat box na lang po para po sa record, um, uh, kasama po kayo sa records ng meeting po. Maraming salamat. Uh, the first submis submission, Mr. Chair, is from Durabil Corporation. Any representative from Durabil Corporation? Online? Mr. Chair would like to put on record that no representative from Durabil Corporation present online and in person, sir. Okay, noted. So, of the three, uh, Project for FSIS. So, no representative from Dura Build, sir. How about uh, Ritbit? Uh, we do have, sir. We have? Yes, sir. Here. Oh, hi. And then Bangkal. All right. So, two are here. Okay, yeah. proceed. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, so, the first submission is from Dura Build Corporation. The submitted bid is properly labeled. Uh, for the project rehabilitation and expansion of FSIS building. It is stamped received by um, the BAC Secretariat, May 29, 1.56 p.m. And it is signed and sealed. Inside the main envelope are two uh, envelopes. The original proposal and the copy one. Inside the main proposal are two envelopes, the original technical component and the original financial proposal. The submitted uh, technical proposal has tabbings.
Mr. Chair would like to uh, inform the committee, sir, that not all the pages of the submitted technical component of DuraBuild um, is are, are paginated. So there are pages without pagination. We stand corrected, Mr. Chair. Um, pala, printed pala. Uh, uh -oh. It's a printed uh handwritten yung iba, hindi ba hindi? Meron, sir. Pero, yung iba lang, sir, handwritten yung iba, but it's paginated naman po. Yes, sir. So, uh, it's paginated, and it also contains the signature or initials of uh, the representative, bidder's representative. Checklist, please. Checklist for the technical component. Valid field jobs registration certificate, platinum membership, all pages. Certificate of field jobs registration, platinum membership issued to Durabil Construction, valid until September 12, 2023, consisting of three pages, three out of three. Submitted. Registration certificate from Securities and Exchange Commission, Department of Trade and Industry for sole proprietorship, or Cooperative Development Authority for cooperatives or its equivalent document. Registration certificate from the Department of Trade and Industry. Uh, <coughs> registration date, January 12, 2023, and it is valid until February 3, 2028, with a registration number 4423489, submitted. Mayors or business permit issued by the city or municipality where the principal place of business of the prospective bidder is located or the equivalent document for exclusive economic zones or areas. Mayors permit issued by the city government of Bacolod and it is valid until December 31, 2023. Submitted. Tax clearance per EO number 398 series of 2005 as finally reviewed and approved by the Bureau of Internal Revenue. Tax clearance, date of issuance, July 15, 2022, and it is valid until July 15, 2023, submitted. A statement of the prospective bidder of all its ongoing government and private contracts, including contracts awarded but not yet started, if any, whether similar or not similar in nature and complexity to the contract to be bid, Annex A, Form 1. Annex A, Form 1, statement of all ongoing government and private contracts, with signature of the authorized representative submitted. A statement of the bidder's single largest completed contract similar to the contract to be bid, except under conditions provided under the rules, Annex A Form 2. Annex A Form 2, statement of single largest completed contract with signature of the authorized representative submitted. Philippine Contractors Accreditation Board or PCAB license or a special PCAB license in case of joint ventures and registration for the type and cost of the contract to be bid and joint resolution, Annex A, Form 3. Um, PICAB license issued to Durabil Corp Construction, valid until June 30, 2023, and with signature of the authorized representative submitted. Original copy of bid security, if in the form of a surety bond, submit also a certification issued by the Insurance Commission or original copy of notarized bid securing declaration, Annex B Form 2. Annex B Form 2, bid security in, in the form of bid securing declaration, signed, and also notarized, submitted. Project requirements, which shall include the following, organizational chart for the contract to be bid, Annex B Form 3. Annex B Form 3, org chart uh, for the project, with signature of the authorized representative, submitted. List of contractors, key personnel, Example, project manager, project engineers, material, materials engineers, and foreman to be assigned to the contract to be bid with complete qualification and experience data 
Annex B Form 4, 5A, 5B, and 5C. A uh, list of key personnel to be assigned to the project si signed by the authorized uh, managing officer. Also attached are the bio data or the CV of the uh, person uh, or the key personnel to be assigned to the project with their licenses and certifications. Submitted. List of contractors, major equipment units, which are owned, lease, and are under purchase agreement, supported by proof of ownership or certification of availability of equipment from the equipment lessor or vendor for the duration of the project, as the case may be, Annex B Form 6. Annex V, Form 6, list of equipment, uh, owned, leased, or under purchase agreement, signed by the authorized representative. Also attached are proof of ownership, such as receipts, lease contracts, or lease agreement. Submitted. Original duly signed omnibus form statement, Annex B Form 7. And if applicable, original notarized secretary certificate in case of the corporation, partnership, or cooperative, or original special power of attorney of all members of the joint venture, giving full power and authority to its officer to sign the OSS and do acts to represent the bidder. Omnibus form statement, original, signed by the authorized managing officer and also notarized with the special power of, of attorney authorizing Mr. Richard Ibasco, uh, the principal of the Bureau Deal Court Construction and uh, the SPA is also notarized, submitted. Documents as attachment to the omnibus sworn statement Certification under oath attesting that they have no pending case against the government in addition the, to the eligibility requirements as prescribed under the 2016 revised implementing rules and regulations of RA number 9184. In the case of JV, all contractors must submit the certification. Certificate of no pending case against the government signed by the general manager and also notarized, submitted. Legal clearance to be issued by the Co-op Enforcement and Legal Service with respect to the non-pending cases of the prospective bidders against this authority. In case of JV, all contractors must submit the said clearance. Legal clearance issued to Durable Construction, valid until November 22, 2023, signed by uh, the ELS Chief, Attorney Roberto Martin Buenaventura, submitted. Bid bulletins, if applicable. Uh, not applicable. Wait. Not applicable. Certificate of Site Inspection, Annex B Form 1, duly signed by Lieutenant Colonel Valentino A. Junella, Assistant Director General 2 of Aerodrome Development and Management Service, or his duly authorized representative, is required to be submitted. Certificate of Site Inspection issued to Mr. Jas Casper Ong of Durable Construction, signed by uh, signed for uh, Colonel Valentino Janela of ADMS, issued last May 22, 2023, submitted. Attachment to the Certificate of Site Inspection, copy of company ID of the person who conducted the site inspection. Company ID of Mr. Casper Ong of Durable Construction, submitted. Copy of the airport or facility visitor's logbook with the entry name of the person who conducted the site inspection. Visitor's logbook of uh, ADMS with the entry name Mr. Casper Ong, submitted. 
feature of the proposed site, including the personnel who conducted the site inspection, together with the airport manager or officer in charge or his duly authorized representative. Feature of the proposed site, together with the person who conducted the site inspection and the representative of ADMS, uh, Mr. Havilianar, submitted. The prospective bidders audited financial statements, showing, among others, the prospective bidder's total and current assets and liabilities stamp received by the BIR or its duly accredited and authorized institutions for the preceding calendar year, which should not be earlier than two years from the date of bid submission. Audited financial statement stamped received by BIR dated April 14, 2023, submitted. The prospective bidder's computation of net financial contracting capacity. NFCC of Durabuild in the amount of uh, 405,169,017 pesos and 51 centavos with signature of the authorized representative submitted. If applicable, duly signed joint venture agreement in accordance with RA number 46. 4566 and its IRR in case the joint venture is already in existence or duly notarized statements from all the potential joint venture partners stating that they, they will enter into and abide by the provisions of the JBA in the instance that the bid is successful. Not applicable. That's all for the technical component checklist, sir. Mr. Chair, the submission of durable construction for its technical component is initially dated as passed. Thank you. The second proposal, Mr. Chair, is from Bangkal Construction and Supply. Representative, please. Ma'am, kindly acknowledge if this is your submitted bid. Uh, we'd like to put on record, Mr. Chair, that the representative of Bangkal uh, Construction and Supply acknowledges that this, was, that this is their submitted bid. The proposal was received by Back Secretariat May 30, 2023, 8.02 a.m. It is properly labeled for the project and it is sealed as well and signed. Inside the main envelope are two envelopes. The, the original eligibility and technical component and the original financial component envelope. The submitted uh, eligibility and technical component has tabbings pagination and signature or um, signature and initials in each page. Checklist, please. Technical component checklist. Valid field jobs registration certificate. Planet platinum membership, all pages. Certificate of field jobs registration, platinum membership issued to Bangkal Construction and Supply. Valid until September 12, 2023. Page three out of three submitted. Registration certificate from Securities and Exchange Commission, Department of Trade and Industry for sole proprietorship or Cooperative Development Authority for cooperatives or its equivalent document. Registration certificate from the D Department of Trade and Industry with the registration number 3254403 valid until October 26, 2026 submitted. Mayors or business permit issued by the city or municipality where the principal place of business of the prospective bidder is located or the equivalent document for exclusive economic zones or areas. Mayors permit issued by municipality of Iba um, valid until December 31, 2023 submitted. Tax clearance per EO number 398, series of 2005, as finally reviewed and approved by the Bureau of Internal Revenue. Tax clearance, date of issuance, June 28, 2022, and it is valid until June 28, 2023, submitted. 
statement of the prospective bidder of all its ongoing government and private contracts, including contracts awarded but not yet started, if any, whether similar or not similar in nature and complexity the contract to, the, to be bid. Annex A Form 1. Annex A Form 1, statement of all ongoing government and private contracts with signature of the authorized representative submitted. The statement of the bidder's single areas completed contract, similar to the contract to be bid, except under conditions provided under the rules, Annex A Form 2. Annex A Form 2, statement of single areas completed contract, signed by the authorized representative submitted. Philippine Contractors Accreditation Board or PCAB license or special PCAB license in case of joint ventures and registration for the type and cost of the contract to be bid and joint resolution, Annex A, Form 3. PCAB license issued to Bangkal Construction and Supply with signature of the authorized representative and it is valid until June 30, 2023, submitted. Original copy of bid security, if in the form of a surety band, Submit also a certification issued by the Insurance Commission or original copy of notarized bid securing declaration, Annex B Form 2. Bid security in the form of bid securing declaration um, signed by the authorized representative and it is also notarized, submitted. Project requirements, which shall include the following. Orig organizational chart for the contract to be bid, Annex B Form 3. Annex B Form 3, org structure, Signed by the authorized representative, submitted. List of contractors, key personnel, example, project manager, project engineers, material engineers, and foremen to be assigned to the contract to be bid with their complete qualification and experience data, Annex B Form 4, 5A, 5B, and 5C. Key personnel proposed to be assigned to the project, signed by the authorized representative. Also attached are the licenses and uh, the CV of the proposed personnel. Sorry, by data. License. Submitted. List of contractors, major submitted units, which are owned, leased, and are under purchase agreements, supported by proof of ownership or certification of availability of equipment from the equipment lessor or vendor for the, for the duration of the project, as the case may be. Annex B Form 6. Annex B Form 6, list of equipment owned, leased, or under purchase agreement, proposed to be um, assigned to the project, signed by the authorized representative with attachments, proof of ownership, such as receipts. ORCR submitted. Original duly signed omnibus sworn statement, Annex B, Form 7, and if applicable, original notarized secretary certificate in case of the corporation, partnership, or cooperative, or original special power of attorney of all members of the joint venture, giving full power and authority to its officer to sign the OSS and do acts to represent the bidder. Omnibus sworn statement, signed and also notarized. Also with uh, the attached special power of attorney authorizing the signatory to sign the OSS as well as the other documents for this project. Also signed and notarized. Submitted. Documents as attachment to the omnibus warrant statement. Certification under oath attesting that they have no pending case against the government in addition to the eligibility requirements as prescribed under the 2016 Revised Implementing Rules and Regulation of RA number 9184, in case of JV, all contractors must submit the certification. Certificate of no pending case against the government, signed by the authorized representative, and also notarized, submitted. Legal clearance to be issued by the Co-op Enforcement and Legal Service with respect to the non-pending cases of the prospective bidders against this authority. In case of joint venture, all contractors must submit the said clearance. Legal clearance issued to Bangkal Construction and Supply, valid until November 26, 2023, and signed by ELS Chief Attorney Roberto Martin Buenaventura, submitted. Bid bulletins if applicable. Not applicable. 
Certificate of Site Inspection, Annex B, Form 1, duly signed by Lieutenant Colonel Valentino Agenella, Assistant Director General 2 of Aerodrome Development and Management Service, or his duly authorized representative. Certificate of Site Inspection issued to Mr. Richard Alinsunurin of Bangkal Construction and Supply, signed by Engine A. Colonel Valentino Janela, dated May 29, 2023, submitted. Attachment to the Certificate of Site Inspection, copy of company ID of the person who conducted the site inspection. Company ID of Mr. Alinsunurin of Bangkal Construction, submitted. Copy of the airport or facility, facility visitor's logbook with the entry name of the person who conducted the site inspection. Visitor's logbook of ADMS with the entry name of Mr. With the entry name of Mr. Alin Sunurin. <laughs> okay, sorry. I dated May 29, 2023. Sorry. Submitted. Picture of the proposed site, including the personnel who conducted the site inspection, together with the airport manager or officer in charge or his duly authorized representative. Picture of the proposed site together with the person who conducted the site inspection and the authorized representative of ADMS submitted. The prospective bidder's audited financial statements showing, among others, the prospective bidder's total and current assets and liabilities stamp received by the BIR or its duly accredited and authorized institutions for the preceding calendar year, which should not be earlier than two years from the date of bid submission. Audited financial statement. Received by BIR April 12, 2023, submitted. The, prospect, the prospective bidder's computation of net financial contracting capacity. NFCC in the amount of 448,797,926 pesos and 69 centavos, signed by the authorized representative, submitted. If applicable, duly signed joint venture agreement in accordance with RA number 4566 and its IRR in case the joint venture is already in existence or duly notarized statements from all the potential joint venture partners stating that they will enter into and abide by the provisions of the JBA in the instance that the bid is successful. Not applicable. That's all for the technical component checklist, sir. Mr. Chair, to the members of the committee, the technical component of uh, Bangkal Construction and Supply is initially rated as passed. The last proposal is from Ritvit Construction and Development Corporation. Bid, uh, representative, please kindly acknowledge if this is your submitted bid. Yes, sir. Good morning, po. We acknowledge po na that is our submitted bid, po. Maraming salamat po. The submitted proposal is properly labeled for the project. It is received. Uh, it was received by Back Secretariat May 30, 2023, 8:53 in the morning. Signed and sealed. Inside the main envelope are two envelopes, the original uh, bid documents and copy one. Inside the original submission are two envelopes, the technical component and the financial component. Technical component has tabbings. With 
pagination and signature on each page. Checklist, please. Technical component checklist, valid field jobs registration certificate, platinum membership, all pages. Certificate of field jobs registration, platinum membership, issued to Ritwit Construction Development Corporation, valid until July 30, 2023, consisting of three pages. Page three out of three, submitted. Registration certificate from, from Securities and Exchange Commission, Department of Trade and Industry for sole proprietorship, or Cooperative Development Authority for cooperatives or its equivalent document. Cer uh, registration certificate issued by the Securities and Exchange Commission uh, while, uh, with the registration date November 5, 20, November 5, 1986, and it is uh, registered under number 136274, submitted. Mayor's, mayor's or business permit issued by the city or municipality where the principal place of business of the prospective bidder is located or the equivalent document for exclusive economic zones or areas. Mayor's permit issued by the city government of Las Piñas and it is valid until June 30, 2023, submitted. Tax clearance per EO number 398, series of 2005, as finally reviewed and approved by the Bureau of Internal Revenue. Tax clearance date of issuance January 19, 2023 and valid until January 19, 2024, submitted. Statement of the prospective bidder of all its ongoing government and private contracts, including contracts awarded but not yet started, if any, whether similar or not similar in nature and complexity to the contract to be bid, Annex A Form 1. Annex A Form 1, Statement of all ongoing government and private contracts, signed by the authorized representative, submitted. Statement of the bidder's single largest completed contract, similar to the contract to be bid, except under conditions provided under the rules, Annex A Form 2. Annex A Form 2, Statement of single largest completed contract, signed by the authorized representative, submitted. Philippine Contractors Accreditation Board or PCAB license or special PCAB license in case of joint ventures and registration for the type and cost of the contract to be bid and joint resolution, Annex A Form 3. PCAB license issued to Retreat Construction and Development Corporation with signature of the authorized representative and it is valid until June 30, 2023, submitted. Original copy of bid security, if in the form of a surety bond, Submit also a certification issued by the Insurance Commission or original copy of notarized bid securing declaration, Annex B Form 2. Bid security in the form of bid securing declaration signed by the authorized representative and it is also notarized, submitted. Project requirements, which shall include the following organizational chart for the contract to be bid, Annex B Form 3. Annex B Form 3, organizational chart signed by the authorized representative, submitted. List of contractors, key personnel, sample project manager, project engineers, materials, engineers, and foremen to be assigned to the contract to be bid with their complete qualification and experience data, Annex B Form 4, 5A, 5B, and 5C. Key personnel proposed to be assigned to the project, signed by the authorized representative, also with the DV or by data of uh, the key personnel together with their licenses. Submitted. List of contractors' major equipment units, which are owned, leased, and or purchase agreements, supported by proof of ownership or certification of availability of equipment from the equipment lessor or vendor for the duration of the project, as the case may be, Annex B, Form 6. Annex B, Form 6, list of equipment owned, leased, or under purchase agreement, proposed to be pledged to the project, and uh, it is signed by the authorized representative with proof of ownership or such as sales invoice ORCR and and that's it submitted original duly signed omnibus sworn statement, Annex B Form 7, and if applicable, original notarized secretary certificate in case of, or, of a corporation, partnership, or cooperative, 
for original special power of attorney of all members of the joint venture, giving full power and authority to its officer to sign the OSS and do acts to represent the bidder. Omnibus sworn statement. Signed by the authorized representative and with, uh, with notary. Also attached is the secretary certificate authorizing um, Mr. Ian Gerald Roque to sign uh, the OSS and the documents with notary submitted. Documents as attachment to the omnibus sworn statement. Certification under oath, attesting that they have no pending case against the government, in addition to the, to the eligibility requirements as prescribed under the 2016 Revised Implementing Rules and Regulation of RA 9184. In case of JV, all contractors must submit the certification. Certificate of no pending case against the government, signed by the authorized representative, and it is also notarized, submitted. Legal clearance to be issued by the Co-op Enforcement and Legal Service with respect to the non-pending cases of the prospective bidders against this authority. In case of joint venture, all contractors must submit the said clearance. Legal clearance issued to Retweet Construction and Development Corporation, valid until November 23, 2023, signed by Attorney Roberto Martin Buenaventura, the Chief of Enforcement and Legal Service, submitted. Bid bulletins, if applicable. Not applicable. Certificate of Site Inspection, Annex B, Form 1, duly signed by Lieutenant Colonel Valentino A. Junella, Assistant Director General 2 of Aerodrome Development and Management Service, or his duly authorized representative. Certificate of Site Inspection issued to Mr. Vincel Gumangan, and uh, this was issued by, uh, signed by um, Colonel Junella, issued last May 23, 2023, submitted. Documents as attachment to the certificate of site inspection. Company of, copy of company ID of the person who conducted the site inspection. Company ID of Mr. Gumangan, submitted. Copy of the airport or facility visitor's logbook with the entry name of the person who conducted the site inspection. Visitor's logbook of ADMS with the entry name of Mr. Gumangan, uh, dated May 23, 246 in the afternoon, submitted. Picture of the proposed site, including the personnel who conducted the site inspection, together with the airport manager or officer in charge or his duly authorized representative. Picture of the proposed site, together with the person who conducted the inspection and the authorized representative of the ADMS, submitted. The prospective bidder's audited financial statement Showing, among others, the prospective bidder's total and current assets and liabilities stamp received by the BIR or its duly accredited and authorized institutions for the preceding calendar year, which should not be earlier than two years from the date of bid submission. Audited financial statement stamp received by BIR April 18, 2022, submitted. The prospective bidder's computation of net financial contracting capacity. NFCC uh, in the amount of 1 billion. 25 pesos and 18 centavos. Signed by the authorized representative, submitted. If applicable, duly signed joint venture agreement in accordance with RA number 4566 and its IRR in case the joint venture is already in existence, or duly authorized statements from all the potential joint venture partners stating that they will enter into and abide by the provisions of the JBA in the instance that the bid is successful. Not applicable. That's all for the technical component checklist, sir. Mr. Chair, the technical component submission of rate bid construction uh, and development corporation is, is, is initially rated as passed. Thank you. We now proceed, sir, with the opening of the financial submission. Proceed. First is from the Durable Corporation. All right. Submitted financial component has tabbings, pagination, and signature on each page. Checklist, please. 
financial component checklist, original of due design bid prices in the bill, in the bill of quantities, Annex C Form 1. Annex C Form 1, Bill of Quantities, signed by the authorized representative, submitted. Summary of bid proposal, Annex C Form 2. Annex C Form 2, Summary of bid proposal, also with signature of the authorized representative, submitted. Bill of Materials and Cost Estimates, Annex C Form 3. Annex C Form 3, Bill of Materials and Cost Estimates. With signature as well, submitted. Summary sheet indicating the unit prices of construction materials, labor rates, and equipment rentals used in coming up with the bid, Annex C, Annex C Form 4, 5, and 6. Summary for unit prices of materials, labor rates, and equipment rentals, submitted. Cash flow by quarter and payment schedule, Annex C Form 7. Cash flow and uh, cash flow and payment schedule submitted. Original of duly signed and accomplished financial bid form. Financial bid of Dura Build Construction signed by the authorized representative, Mr. Richard Ibasco, and uh, the financial proposal financial is. Twelve million. 422,323 pesos and 31 centavos with no discount. Huh? Yeah. No discount. This is below the ABC of the project, which is 13 million, 13 million 118,201 pesos and 68 centavos. So again, uh, the financial bid is 12,422,323 pesos and 31 centavos with no discount. Say and again, uh, 400 what? 422, ah, uh, it's 12,000,000. Yes, sir. 12,422,323 pesos and 31 centavos, sir. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. The next financial bid is from Bangkal Construction and Supply. The financial submission has tabings. Pagination and signature in each page. Checklist, please. Financial component checklist. Original of duly signed bid prices in the bill of quantities, Annex C, Form 1. Bill of quantities with signature of the authorized representative submitted. Summary of bid proposal, Annex C, Form 2. Summary of bid proposal, also with signature submitted. Bill of Materials and Cost Estimates, Annex C, Form 3. Bill of Materials and Cost Estimates, submitted. Summary sheet indicating the unit prices of construction materials, labor rates, and equipment rentals used in coming up with the bid, Annex C, Form 4, 5, and 6. Summary for unit prices of materials, labor rates, and equipment rentals submitted. Cash flow by quarter and payment schedule, Annex C, Form 7. Cash flow by quarter and payment schedule submitted. Original of duly signed and accomplished financial bid form. Financial bid of Bangkal Construction and Supply signed by Ms. Sheila Joy Tambo, Tamblo, Tambon of uh, the authorized representative in the amount of 13,106,357 pesos and 28 centavos with 13.05% discount. Again, it's 
357 pesos and 28 centavos with 13.05% discount. Applying the 13.05 discount, the final bid of uh, Bangkal Construction is 11,395,977 pesos and 65 centavos. It's 11,395,000 977 pesos and 65 centavos, which is below the EBC of the project. Thank you, sir. Finally, from Ritvit Construction. Properly tab, paginated, and also with signatures or initial on each page. Checklist, please. Financial component checklist. Original of duly signed bid prices in the Bill of Quantities, Annex C, Form 1. Bill of Quantities. Signed by the authorized representative, submitted. Summary of bid proposal, Annex C, Form 2. Summary of bid proposal, also with signature, submitted. Bill of materials and cost estimates, Annex C, Form 3. Annex C, Form 3, Bill of materials and cost estimates, submitted. Summary sheet indicating the unit prices of construction materials, labor rates and equipment <coughs> rentals used in coming up with the bid, Annex C, Form 4, 5, and 6. Summary for unit prices of materials, labor and equipment submitted cash flow by quarter and payment schedule annex c form 7 cash flow by quarter and payment schedule submitted original of your designed and accomplished financial bid form financial bid of retweet construction and development corporation signed by mr ian gerald v roque the president in the amount of 12,646,685 pesos and 34 centavos with no discount. It's 12,646,685 pesos and 34 centavos with no discount. And this is below the ABC of the project as well. Mr. Chair, here is the summary of the submitted bids for uh, the project procurement of rehabilitation and expansion of FSIS building. So um, based on the submission, financial submission, the lowest submitted bid is from Bangkal Construction and Supply in the amount of 11,395,977 pesos and 65 centavos. Second is from Durabil Construction. And uh, third is from Ritvit Construction and Development Corporation. 
With this, Mr. Chair, the Technical Working Group is now recommending uh, for the conduct of bid evaluation of all submitted bids um, to uh, for the conduct of bid evaluation uh, to determine uh, any arithmetical or mathematical corrections and uh, to a certain completeness of bids for consideration and approval of the committee, sir. Thank you. And a motion. Motion, Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. Uh, motion to adopt the recommendation of the TWG that the bidders who rated as passed will undergo bid evaluation. Seconded, Mr. Chair. Move and seconded. Motion is adopted. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. To all our bidders, uh, again, uh, thank you for participating, and we will just notify you of the outcome of the bid evaluation. Maraming salamat po. Ma'am, sir, thank you po. You are now excused po. The next item in our agenda, Mr. Chair, is the pre-bid conference for the project supply, delivery, and installation of procedure design software with hardware. This is uh, an ATS project with a bid number 23-013-05, amounting to 25 million pesos. And um, ATS representatives, uh, Mr. Joma Elihio, is here today together with... Uh, his colleagues to present the project and secretariat kindly admit bidders online as well if we do have bidders. Thank you. Attorney, pakilakihan mo pa nga yung screen. Ay, sorry, sir. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Apologies, sir. Good morning, Mr. Chair. Good morning, everyone. To the bidders, uh, welcome to the pre-bid conference for the project Supply, Delivery, and Installation of Procedure Design Software with Hardware, bid number 23-013-05. For the invitation to bid, the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines through the CAAP Corporate Budget CY 2023 intends to apply the sum of 25 million pesos under the contract for supply delivery and installation of procedure design software with hardware. Delivery of the goods is required within 60 calendar days upon receipt of a notice to proceed or NTP. Bidders should have completed within five years at least two similar contracts, the aggregate amount of which should be equivalent to at least 50% of the ABC. A complete set of bidding documents may be acquired by interested bidders last 19 May 2023 until a deadline today. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. I hope it's uh, readable now. For the uh, Amount of the bidding documents, we have here 28,000 pesos, inclusive 20% of VAT. Today is the uh, pre-bid conference, 30 May, June 2023. Bids must be duly received with the box secretariat through manual submission at the office address indicated below, on or before June 13, 2023, at 10 a.m., and late bids shall not be accepted. Bid opening shall be on uh, June 13 and given address below or via online conference through Google Meet. The CAF reserves the right to reject any and all bids or declare a failure of bidding or not award the contract at any time prior to contract award in accordance with sections 35.6 and 41 of the 2016 revised IRR of RA number 9184 without thereby incurring any liability to the affected bidder or bidders. For further information, we have here Mr. or Inger Gary M. Hadi, head of the box secretariat.
For the funding information, the source of funding is GOCC, the Corporate Operating Budget of TAAP. So we are scoring down the generic items of the bidding documents. The payment of the contract price shall be made in Philippine pesos. For the bid security, the bidder shall submit a bid securing declaration or any form of bid security in the amount indicated in a BDS. The bid and bid security shall be valid until within 120 calendar days from the date of the opening of bids. For the sealing and marking of bids, each bidder shall submit one copy of the first and second components of its bid. For the opening and preliminary explanation of uh, bids, the box shall open the bids in public at the time, at the date, and at the place specified in paragraph 9, which is June 13. In case the bids cannot be opened as scheduled due to justifiable reasons, the rescheduling requirements under Section 29 of the 2016 Revised IRR of RA No. 9184 shall prevail. For the detailed evaluation and comparison of bids, the procuring box shall immediately conduct a detailed evaluation of all bids rated past using non-discretionary pass-fail criteria. If the project allows partial bids, bidders may submit a proposal on any of the lots or items and evaluation will be undertaken on a per lot or item basis. The descriptions of the lots or items shall be indicated in section seven or the technical specifications. The project shall be awarded as one project, having several items that shall be awarded as one contract. All bids must include the NFCC computation. For the post-qualification within a non-extendable period of five calendar days from receipt with the bidder of the notice from the BAC, that it submitted the lowest calculated bid, the bidder shall submit its latest income and business tax returns filed and paid through the BIR or Bureau of Internal Revenue Electronic Filing and Payment System, EFPS. For the bid data sheet, for this purpose, contracts similar to the project shall be letter A, supply of procedure design software or contract related to design of airspace and instrument flight procedures, and letter B, completed within five years prior to the deadline for the submission and receipt of bids. No subcontracted portion. And all prospective bidders shall be required to submit the following. A certification under oath attesting that they have no pending cases against the government, in addition to the liability requirements for bidders as prescribed under the 2016 revised IRR of RA 9184. Number two, legal clearance to be issued by the CAAP ELS or the Enforcement and Legal Service with respect to the non-dependency of any cases of prospective bidders against the authority. The price of the goods shall be quoted DDP. For the incidental services, all expenses for the processing of permits and licenses shall be part of the price schedule of the equipment. The bid security shall be in the form of a bid securing declaration the amount of not less than 2% of ABC, or the amount of not less than 5% of ABC if bid security is insurative bond. Item 15, each and every page thereof shall be initialed slash signed by the duly authorized representative of the bidder. Submitted eligibility technical and financial documents shall be properly marked with index tabs or ear tab and must sequentially paginated in accurate for order in the form of, that is, page three of 100, or page number of last page of the document per envelope basis. Each bidder shall submit one original copy of the first and second components of its bid. Bids must be duly received by the BAC Secretariat through manual submission to the address, the BAC Office, Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, Old Mir Road, Pasay City, 1300 Philippines. Partial bid is not allowed. The scope of contract, this contract shall include all such items, although not specifically mentioned, that can be reasonably inferred as being required for its completion as if such items were expressly mentioned herein. The terms of payments are indicated in the SCC. For the performance security within 10 calendar days from receipt of the notice of award by the bidder from the procuring entity, 
but in no case later than prior to the signing of the contract by both parties, the successful bidder shall furnish the performance security in any of the forms prescribed in Section 39 of the 2016 Revised RRR of RA Number 1984. Inspection and tests, the procuring entity or its reps shall have the right to inspect and or to test the goods to confirm their conformity to the project specifications at no extra cost to the procuring entity. For the warranty, in order to assure the manufacturing defects shall be corrected by the supplier, a warranty shall be required from the supplier. Liability of the supplier, the supplier's liability under this contract shall be as provided by the laws of the Republic of the Philippines. SCC stands for Special Conditions of Contract. For the Special Conditions of Contract, we have it the delivery and documents, the incidental services, the spare parts, packaging, transportation, intellectual property rights. For item 2.2, this is a turnkey project Payment will be after issuance of project completion certification of the CAAP. The inspections and tests that will be conducted are A, physical checking of the hardware, and B, testing of the licensed software installed. Warranty for hardware and software are three years from acceptance. For the schedule of requirements, supply, delivery, and installation of procedure design software with hardware, five units high performance workstations with two monitors per unit and license OS and office with keyboard and mouse. Two units basic workstation with one monitor per unit license OS, NAS, switch and UPS, and training for six airspace and flight procedure designers of the division. Section seven are technical specifications. So we have here five licenses of procedure design software. Support assistance and troubleshooting of system issues in the use of the software during the duration of the contract. At least three years of maintenance which shall commence after the acceptance of software on AFBDD premises. Maintenance of the GIS software. Software training for six AFBDD or ATS of ATS personnel with relevant trainings on PANS ops. Conventional IFP, five days. PBN IFP, five days. Software features and functionalities, five days. Data management, charting, coding, documentation, five days. Provision and installation of computer hardware software, five sets of workstations, two sets of basic workstations with one monitor each. Eight units of UPS, one unit NAS or NAS, two units of four terabyte NAS HDD, one unit network switch, seven licenses of Microsoft Office latest version, two licenses of Microsoft Visio or similar software for charting, three year warranty for all hardware. Features, the details, design all types of conventional and PBN, instrument flight tools procedures involving RNAV, XLS, construct protection areas of precision approaches, with obstacle assessment, basic ILS surfaces, ILS OAS, including automatic OAS constants, calculation with option for steep up angle approaches, collision risk model, construct protection areas of holding patterns and reversals with obstacle assessment, racetrack base turn, procedure turn, nav aid holding, RNAP, sorry, RNP and RNAV holding, Construct protection areas of departures and missed approach segments with obstacle assessment. Construct areas of end road straight and turn segments with obstacle assessment. Construct obstacle limitation surfaces or OALS defined by IKO Annex 14 criteria featuring runway organization, custom parameters. Construct protection areas of the RNP AR surfaces with obstacle assessment. Protection areas of navigational aids. Protection areas or approach procedures, basic GNSS, VOR, NDB localizer approach, OAS for APV categories, SBUS, FAS data block. Construction areas, RNAV, RNP, Android STAR, 
the standard uh, terminal arrival routes, conventional VOR, DME, construct protection areas of helicopter PIN-S, protection areas of circling with obstacle assessment, theoretical DME coverage for DME, DME base RNAV, terminal arrival altitudes, fixed area construction using a combination of different types of NAV aids, non-precision final approach alignment, DME tolerance, indicated airspeed, secondary MOC, minimum sector altitude, visual segment surface, radar vectoring altitude, minimum stabilization distance, and general procedures on all entered parameters, results of obstacle analysis, screenshots, custom commentary. Software is used in the country of origin and two other countries. If the software requires AutoCAD to run the program, AutoCAD must be included in the package. Free software support including updates, that is patches and bug fixes for the duration of contract. Interactive point and click user interface. Ability to add a lateral tolerance to terrain and obstacle position information. Ability to add a vertical tolerance for trees and or unknown structures onto terrain. Ability to analyze terrain from external reference titles. For the GIS related features, enter latitude and longitude. Unlimited worldwide geodetic datums available. Bearing and distance. Geotechnical magnetic variation, DTM3, WGS84. Database related features, NAV aids, AIXM compatible database. Graphically find and change any data or portion of the data in the systems database. Graphical database support AIXM 5.1. The software provider shall provide a venue, classroom, and training facilities, including internet access, a TV projector, laptops, or workstations for each participant, assure the availability of instructors during the agreed dates for the training, provides training in the English language, provides all training material, personal training certificate, NAS storage, NAS HDD switch, workstations, basic monitors, UPS, miscellaneous one lot, power cord. So we have here the checklist of technical financial documents that was uh, mentioned a while ago. For the checklist of technical and financial documents, we have a valid field jobs registration, certificate platinum membership, statement of the prospective bidder over its ongoing and private contracts, bidder single largest completed contract, original copy of bid security, original copy of notarized bid securing declaration, conformity with the technical specs, original duly signed omnibus form statement, prospective bidders NFCC or a line of credit from Universal or Commercial Bank, duly signed JVA, for foreign bidders claiming by reason of their country's extension of reciprocal rights to Filipinos, certification from the relevant government office of their country stating that Filipinos are allowed to participate in government procurement activities for the same item or product. Then certification from DTI, if the bidder claims preference as a domestic bidder. Financial component, accomplished financial bid form and price schedule. That is all, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Any question? Mr. Chair, um, I'd like to inform the body, sir, that we have bidders online. Uh, I think we have Evercon builders, sir, participating okay. online, sir. All right. So, any comment or what is the recommendation? Um, at this point, Mr. Chair, we will now open the floor uh, for question, uh, for clarifications or questions from our bidders, if there is any. Evercon, please. So we only oh, have really? Evercon. Yes, sir. For this project. Okay, any question? Uh, good um, morning, po. Uh, thank you. No question, po. Thank you, ma'am. Do we have other bidders, Papo, online? Um, yes, um, sorry, this is Randolph. Um, I'm uh, joined by Mark Hoskins and two of my colleagues from Airways Corporation of New Zealand. Um, so far, we don't have any questions about technical specs of the um, the bid, um, but 
um, I should ask Mark, Yuri, or Mark Cruz if they have any other questions too. Mark? Yeah, thanks, Randolph. I just have um, one primary question, which is on clause 7.1 around uh, subcontracting. Yes, sir. Uh... So, so it, if we were to, to respond, um, we utilize software from a vendor. We provide it on behalf of that vendor. Um, that would be our intent if we respond to this um, tender, which we would like to. We're just um, wondering whether um, our position would put us in breach of the tender requirements, and if so, whether that's uh, available for review. Sir, if I may clarify, if I may clarify, um, I just want to clarify whether uh, you will be joining as a joint venture with the local partner here in the Philippines. Uh, no, that's not our intent. So again, just if it helps clarify for the audience, we're. we're uh, an ANSP, an Air Navigation Service Provider. Um, we have a software vendor which we've used for a number of years. Um, together we provide that software to a number of customers globally. Um, we're very interested in providing a bid into this one. Um, however, there is a contractual relationship between us and our software provider, i.e. They're, they're not with an Airways. So I just want to make that clear. Um, and then the question is, is, is that acceptable? Um, and we don't necessarily need an answer today. Is that acceptable? Uh, and if not, would you be willing to um, contemplate a change in 7.1? Uh, sir, uh, for now, sir, we will look into your concern and uh, we will just issue a bid bulletin clarifying these uh, matters that you raise right now. Um, but meantime, uh, we would just like to stress that under Section 7.1 of the ITB clause, um, subcontracting is really not allowed in, in, in this particular procurement. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. I have one, one further question, which is just simply a clarification in the liability um, section. It says that the supplier's liability is provided by the laws of the Republic of the Philippines. Does that involve, in this case, the ability to obtain a cap on liability?
Um, sir, uh, in reply to your to your um, clarification, while it is not stated here the the, the limit or the cap uh, in terms of liability, uh, it will be determined by an appropriate body. Should uh, this liability clause be applicable? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any other questions from other bidders? If there is none uh, for now, uh, we, will, we will just like to inform our bidders that uh, you still have the chance or the opportunity to raise your questions or clarifications uh, by submitting a, re a written uh, clarifications to the Beads and Awards Committee or you may email the Beads and Awards Committee with your clarifications 10 calendar days prior to the opening or to the submission, the deadline of submission of beads. So uh, with that, Mr. Chair, uh, having no other questions, and uh, I think um, the presentation is already clear, uh, we can close this item now, Mr. Chair. Okay, and remove the bidders. Thank you. Again, uh, to our bidders, thank you for participating in the pre-bid conference for this project, and we are looking forward for your submission, uh, bid submission. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.